Hey there! Today many companies are using Monday.com for their project planning dashboards. For a better tracking purpose of the project milestones and for having a centralized dashboard, we can have a Power BI report for a better view. So today we will look into how to integrate Monday.com into Power BI using an API. So let's get started. I have two groups here on this board, I need to fetch both of them in Power BI. This board has four rows of items, person, status, and date. All these will act as columns. First, we need an API, which we can generate at the bottom left side here. Click on the admin button and then go to API. And then generate your API. So let's copy and use it in our Power BI M query. Coming to Power BI, let us create a blank table first. Before creating the table, click on the edit option and go to the advanced editor. And paste the M query, given in the description of this video. This M query contains the connection string with the board ID to fetch the data. Source defines the web URL as well as the headers which specify the authentication, which is the API. The content is very important, where board IDs are given. We can pass multiple board IDs here. We have to get board IDs by going back to the web page and getting the ID from here. The other lines of the code are simple transformations like expanding the columns and changing the data types. So there we go, we can see all the columns with data from the board. Let us rename the first column to name. You can do your Power Query transformations here. For now, let's close and apply. OK, so now the dataset is ready to create our visuals. Let me create a simple report. The report is ready. Now the next important thing is to publish this report and create a scheduled refresh so that the report gets refreshed every once or twice daily. After the report is published, we can go to our dataset and click on settings. Here we can see that the credentials have failed to authenticate. With this issue, the dataset will never refresh. So we need to fix this issue, this is common for any type of API authenticated dataset. Click on Edit Credentials, and select the Anonymous Authentication method. And then select the checkbox, to skip the test connection. As well as set privacy based on your privacy settings. This will never test the connection and we will not face these authentication issues. Let's sign in and there we go, the error is gone. And now we need to schedule the dataset refresh. Once the schedule refresh is turned on, we can test the dataset refresh manually. Let's apply the settings and do the manual refresh to test the connection. And we can see that the refresh has been completed successfully. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.